Hi, hello, my name is Alaf, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Following yesterday's video, I thought today we're gonna resume with our original scheduling and we're gonna sew up some good fashion, some luxury fashion, even better if you're asking me. I have a few items to show you and if you're already following me on my Instagram or if you've seen my staycation vlog, you may have got a glimpse of them, but today we're gonna go through them in more detail and I'm also going to do a little bit of a try on haul for you. Also, I do wanna clarify that all of these items I got last week, so before I started my self-isolation, Although with the amount of boredom that I had the past few days, I'm not surprised if I end up excessive buying clothes. Some people buy toilet paper, I end up buying clothes. Equally stupid if you're asking me. First up is my favorite item from this haul. Um, actually, that may not be true. I do have a favorite Jalen the Bird piece, which I'm gonna show you later, but it is a close second. It is a statement set from Giacomus, and in my opinion, gonna be worn in any occasion, whether I'm in a party here in London or I'm in Greece by the beach chilling. I love how flowy and kind of box it is. It gives a more relaxed and summery vibe, and I'm all here for that. The Art Deco print is also very cool. It reminds me a lot of Greece for some reason. I think it's the window with the village view that it has, and then the vid that's played with a blue pot. Turn. It's probably inspired by France since the brand is friends, but let them on dream, okay? They also had this in a short sleeve version, but I decided to go for the long sleeve one because I figured that it's going to be a little bit more versatile, especially like uh, having it during summertime. And if I ever get too warm, I can just roll up those sleeves and problem solved. Next up, also from Farfetch, I went ahead and got this pair of blue indigo denim from one of my favorite brands, MSGM. If you've been following me on Instagram, you may have seen me wearing their like kind of tie-dye crazy cardigan. And I just love the brand so much. They always have such cool stuff. So I've been wearing a lot of jeans recently and I thought that it's about time to step it up and I get a pair that it's going to be a little bit cooler and that I'm going to have in my wardrobe for a few years to come. The jeans were on sale for about 50% off, so I got them for around 250 pounds. I'm gonna have them linked in the description below along with everything else that I mentioned in this video. They're high-waisted and the front stitching in both of the legs is perfect for slimming down my thighs. Although they don't have any sort of crazy design on them, they're definitely a very unique pair and I think that most of it has to do with their feet when you wear them. They feature an embroidered MSGM color in the front and then in the back in a more crazy neon green color. And I think that would be a great pair to use for more of my street style looks as I'm really getting a like street style vibe on them. I think it has to do with, uh, first of all, the more of a loose fit that they have and the high waist and then the neon logo on the back they would look perfect with more of like a chunky sneaker so yeah i cannot wait to wear them like that next time i'm going to be showing you some pieces that i got from jay lindeberg and if you've seen some of my previous vlogs uh, you may have seen that i had a meeting with them recently and they were kind enough to give me a few pieces from the autumn winter collection to be honest i wasn't aware of the brand i recently discovered it i saw a lot from zalando man and they stock jay lindeberg and they actually have a, a golf collection and then they have like a more of a fashion line and a lot of the pieces play around with more of the street style like sporty vibe but they're also very very fashionable which i love that you know i love myself a very unique piece so the first item that i'll be talking about is the one i'm wearing but you're not expecting that it's more of an oversized fit that i would normally go for my knitwear i do like my knitwear i had to be a little bit tighter but i tuck pretty much everything on my trousers either way so it doesn't really sew the only thing that kind of sews is the drop shoulders which i'm more than fine with that i feel like it adds a different element because I don't really have knitwear that are quite like dropped shoulders. And then what I also really like is actually the hands are quite tight, so it's not like looking flabby or anything. It's actually quite nice fitted, apart from the fact that it is more of an oversized fit. And um, you would see, again, I don't really have any issue with that. What I also really love about this is the design. It has the knitted logo that it goes all around the sweater and actually separates it from the sweater. So it kind of gives like a more 3D effect. So it, it keeps it a little bit more interesting than your like casual, normal knitted sweater. And I really like that the pattern is kind of my chest area because I personally think that it kind of makes me look like I've exercised and I kind of look a little bit more although that's definitely not the case uh, it continues with the same logo around on the arms and it's just a very interesting fashionable and most importantly comfortable sweater so what's there not to like I also got these trousers from Jay Lindeberg to go with the sweater because I kind of wanted to create a look and the third item is coming soon and you are gonna love the third one but oh my god these are the most comfortable trousers I've ever worn and also they're not in dark blue they're in khaki color so I'm very proud for myself for that. They have an elastic waistband and a drawstring on the inside to perfect the fit and make it even more comfortable. And they also come with these uh, kind of like cargo pockets here on the side. So it is technically a cargo pant, but the material of it is just so soft and it's so comfortable that again, I feel like it plays along with the Jay Lindeberg style, which is kind of more like fashionable, but also very, very comfortable and kind of sporty. And I feel like a lot of times trousers that I get that are not black or like dark blue, I feel very uncomfortable being in them and I feel like they accentuate my 
thighs uh, or my legs but I feel like that with these ones I actually feel very comfortable uh, walking around them but also feeling very comfortable being inside them so there's a double win and this is actually one of my most comfortable looks that I've worn uh, I posted in my Instagram already so I'm gonna try to put a picture just somewhere here so you can see it I wore it with my Asus black like leather high boots and it was a very cool military vibe last but not least saving the best for the last as always i just have to talk about this jay lindeberg coat i've been looking for a good trench coat for about a couple of years now i've had a trench coat from next that i've been wearing for the past five years but i just really didn't like first of all the color of it and then the style and the fit of it it was just very 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 underwhelming so when i saw this i fell in love instantly this is literally the best trench coat that I could ask for. Like me picturing how I wanted my trench coat to look like, it would have been exactly like this. It's so hard to find interesting trench coats that just go beyond the slimline fit that are kind of like for workwear, like to wear with a suit or whatever. I just wanted something a little bit more fashion forward and I just couldn't find anything on the market like that. Like this one, it just ticks all the boxes. It has a long and oversized fit. I actually even sized it up to give it a more of a relaxed look and I just love the fit of it. It is big, but it's not bulky, if that makes sense. The fabric is wind and water repellent, so it's both very practical, but also very, very stylish. Literally just by wearing this, I found out so many like new details that I didn't know about. For instance, the pocket that it has just right here. Two, one of the things that I found out over the weekend is that they have the belt just right here but what you can do with it is also you can take this off and then the belt buckles disappear inside because they have a hole in here so you can wear it with a belt if you want to but also you can wear it without. A small thing like this buckle detailing make this trench coat look stylish every time and I just love that. I love the design of it and just the effort that they put into making this. I see me wearing this around this time of the year and then around autumn time. So yeah, I'm very excited about this. Okay, cards. Told you, I'm not taking it off. This is like my everyday today trench coat now, which it shouldn't be because it's so good. But I just love it so much that I want to wear it and sew it off. And that is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. It really does help me grow. For more fashion, also make sure you follow me on Instagram, which I'll have in the description below. I post it twice a day and there's a lot of outfit inspiration for you guys. If there's anything specific that you'd like to see, also make sure to drop down a comment below. I love listening to you guys' feedback and just chatting with you. But till I see you again, bye-bye.